And at this time, my mama don't even have a car. So she got to borrow somebody else's car, get up in the morning to take me to my court date. Man, we got in the car, they looked at me and told me straight up, boy, I ain't finna be running down to no courthouse and doing all this, boy. You get yourself in trouble. You better figure out a way to get yourself out of trouble. So you know what that, show, what that, what that said to me was, don't get in trouble. You been following me online, you know that I'm a real estate investor, I'm a business credit consultant. This is Darren Finley, Flopbook, SBU. Come check us out. SBU is Silverback University, the apes in the world. Don't forget it. Ridicule, I laugh while I'm doing laps in the swimming pool. What? I don't owe you. Niggas nothing. Throw me two fingers. See a nigga starting. Black Philip Drummond limousines out of Hummer. Penthouse sweet, pretty beach, I call the summer. Lot of homies pass. See them in the future. Running so fast on the gas, never neutral. Gotta keep a shooter while I'm riding in the seven. Hide in the kite by the time I get to heaven. Laugh about the dough, it really ain't nothing funny. We the usual suspects. Real definition of success. Throwing money because I can and I love it. From nothing to something. This was one, but this is one of them records that got me through. But this is one of the records that got me through, boy. Hmm. 17, time to man up, man. 17, time to. Boy, boy, listen. Yeah. 17, time to man up, boy. For real. That's why I thank God for my mama, boy. My mama ain't baby me, boy. I couldn't, I couldn't cut them up. Like, I just, I, I just, man, my mama ain't baby me, boy. I had to stand on my own, boy, for a long time. Yeah. For real, for real. My mama ain't, my mama just ain't raised me like that. I got in trouble one time. In my life, I went to jail, I think three times in total. I've never been to prison, thank God. I went to jail for the first time on some on some dumb junk too. Like not even like I'm talking about some dumb, literally like a a, a, a glitch in the in the in the in the county system showing that I had a bench warrant when I did. Uh uh, was it that time? I don't know. I just know my mama came to court one time for, with me, right? And pretty much we went into the courtroom and um, the judge just kind of reset the, reset the date. <laughs> and we walk out, we get back in the car. And at this time, my mama don't even have a car. So she got to borrow somebody else's car, get up in the morning to take me to my court date. We got in the car, they looked at me and told me straight up, boy, I ain't finna be running down to no courthouse and doing all this, boy. You get yourself in trouble. You better figure out a way to get yourself out of trouble. So you know what that, show, what that, what that said to me was, don't get in trouble. Hmm. That was it. Don't get in trouble. That's what that said to me. Don't get in trouble. Because she ain't finna, nah. And that's what it is. My mama ain't, my mama ain't baby me, man. Like, she didn't. You know what I'm saying? She taught me how to, I had to be accountable. I had to be responsible. You know what I'm saying? So that's the reason why today I stand on my own two feet. I'm accountable. I'm responsible. That's just what it is. I don't really know no other way. That's that's what it is. And that's because my mama ain't, my mama ain't baby me, man. You know, it was, it was tough love. It was tough love. You know what I'm saying? So... Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be who I am. I wouldn't be the, I wouldn't be able to be the man I am today without my old girl. My old girl just wasn't, man. My old girl <laughs> wasn't with it, man. Yeah, like for real, for real. Nah, you had to come, you had to come correct. So it's so funny when people, when I, when I hear what, when I hear, like when I hear people's impression of me, their impression of me is just kind of like, man, I got to come, I got to come correct. Like I can't come at him. Wasting time or, or, or like not having my ducks in the row or not, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I'm okay with that impression. Like if that's what you, I'm okay with that because I'm a, I'm kind of like a no nonsense type person. 
you know, as it pertains to business or anything like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, we just kicking the bobo. All right, cool. I like to, I like to have fun, too. But, nah, when it comes to business, man, let's talk business. You know what I'm saying? And I love to discuss business. I love to talk about business. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> you know, a lot of dudes, nah, man, a lot of dudes, they real feminine, man. Like, I don't really... That's one of my pet peeves. I'm going to be honest with you. Like, men that, that don't govern themselves like men. Meaning, like, you know, uh, I'm not saying that a man don't have emotions. <laughs> Please don't interpret that. Don't interpret what I'm about to say is that. I'm just saying, like, you know, personally, I believe men should govern themselves outside of an emotional realm. Like, not so uh, motivated by emotion or with emotion. You know what I'm saying? So... I'm not going to disrespect you in any way. You know what I'm saying? Respect is due to a dog. So I would never disrespect another person, another man. But, you know, I do. My, my voice got bass in it. I'm stern when I talk. I'm stern with my delivery because I want you to know and understand that I'm serious. And I expect for you to be the same way. So I can't really get with the man <laughs> that wants me to coddle him when I speak. It's just ain't, ain't going to happen. Once again, my mama ain't baby me. So I, I, I ain't really in the business of, of, of babying the next man. Yeah. Especially as it pertains to business. Like, nah, mm. we ain't doing that, you know. But we can discuss business, govern ourselves accordingly about business, and, you know, hopefully make some moves, make some things happen. You know what I'm saying? I got some people that checked into the B&B today, but... They ain't never hit me back and let me know if they checked in. So we go ride by here, make sure everything all right. People be liking to do this little fraud stuff on the little on the little websites. <laughs> so every so often we just gotta ride by and just see what's going on. I wouldn't call to see if somebody is selling a property if I don't already have the funding established. You understand what I'm saying? Because it's like, okay, what I'm gonna call to see if you're selling it for, and then I can't even buy it, or I don't even have the question answered as to how I'm going to buy it. So that that's just me, though. Like, it, it got to make sense. If I'm moving, if I'm doing something, I'm doing things in a way that makes sense. You understand? So um, that's just what it is, you know. So, you you know, you have a season when you're sowing and you have a season when you're reaping. You know what I'm saying? So 2021, we, uh, we, we definitely finna be sowing some things, putting a lot of seeds in the ground that we may not get no fruit until 2022 2023 you understand what i'm saying but we know we putting them seeds in the ground and that's what's most important as long as you put seeds in the ground you all you will always eat you always have something to eat mm -hmm. that that's what we need but if i'm making the call definitely i'm making a move or i'm in position to make a move it just only makes sense uh, you've been following me online you know that i'm a real estate investor i'm a business credit consultant this is darren finley flybook sbu come check us out sbu is sitting back university the apes in the world don't forget it.